Hey guys, what is up? Uh, got a new phone and uh, hmm, I'm not sure how this video is gonna come out, but let me check it. Uh, also, the the audio on this phone might not be the best, but uh, still, we're gonna see what we can do uh, today. Uh, just to let you know, I've ordered a, a microphone that uh, could be used with my phone, so. I believe uh, it will be an upgrade, but it, uh, I, I'm yet to receive it. Anyways, uh, I'm here today to talk to you about a bracelet that I promised to make a video about that one. Uh, it's going to be a quick one, not much to talk about. Uh, it's a bracelet, but uh, a bracelet from these guys. Uh, you know, uh, I like their products. And uh, a couple months back, um, more like three months, it was in December. Uh, I ordered, uh, there was a really cool promotion on this uh, this bracelet. Uh, this is the vintage uh, Rivet Berwick uh, bracelet from Watch Gecko. Mm, kind of r resembles, um, I should say, Tudor, I believe. It looks like a, like a Tudor bracelet a little bit. Um, I should say that mine is the older version. Uh, they've released a, a bit newer version uh, recently. Looks the same, same quality. Uh, just as you can see, let me try to try to focus here. Hmm. Yep, uh, you can see that those are screw links. Come on, dude. Hmm. Will I be able to focus on that? Yeah, you can see those are screw links. I, I removed almost all of them. Uh, small wrist. Um, but anyways, uh, these ones are really complicated to to to, to size because uh, there's a screw on here uh, on both sides. And uh, what you gotta do is uh, you gotta independently uh, uh, you you gotta hold the one uh, well while you unscrew this one. So this basically is a a whole pin. That you gotta hold on to, and a really small screw on the other side. So there's a really small screw here that you can easily lose. And uh, yeah, the, the newer ones are not like that. The newer ones have screw one screw on each side, but they're longer screws, and uh, you remove them independently. So it's much more convenient uh, to to size the new one. But uh, anyways, the bracelet itself, the clasp itself is the same. Um, now I believe it costs a bit more than eighty. 88 or something like that but the cl the quality of this thing is just phenomenal um, you can look at it you can see that the brushing on the Seiko which is rather good I should say um, I don't know if you could see it. yeah I believe it's okay you can see that the, the quality of the brushing and the quality of the um, let me try to clean it here a little bit and the quality of the polishing it's almost like just mirror finish on the sides, brushed on the top and finished to the to the same quality as that Seiko. Um, I know this is Seiko 5, it's nothing fancy, uh, but still, uh, if you own a Seiko, you know that the, the brushing and polishing on Seikos is really good. Uh, not many bracelets can keep up with that quality. I believe this is really good value. Uh, the clasp is milled. Uh, here also milled stuff, uh, just friction based clothing like that, uh, and uh, double security or whatever it's called. It's really nice, uh, 22 millimeter lug width, they offer it also in 20 and uh, goes down to 18 on the um, on the buckle, uh, on the buckle, on the clasp, uh, which makes it makes it more comfortable. Uh, let me show you how it sits. This is a big watch. This watch is uh, uh, 44 millimeter, but as you can see, I believe it suits the watch perfectly. Uh, and because of those weird uh, lug endings, uh, uh, flat, not flat, but yeah, you, you don't need some special um, end links. On this uh, watches so every bracelet uh, is gonna do but yeah I just wanted to show you this because uh, I believe the, the quality is amazing uh, and 
if you're looking for alternative uh, bracelet for uh, your watch uh, mostly on the internet uh, you can see people talk about uh, strap code strap code are really nice but they're also very expensive uh, and I believe uh, yeah this is 88 pounds so almost 90 pounds which is more than hundred dollars but mm, I believe they offer even cheaper than those uh, on watch gecko so and also they, they do uh, regular promotion so if you wait a little bit you're probably gonna find those for like half the price like 50 pounds and uh, on strap code side there's rarely uh, anything available below 70 dollars which is like 50 pounds and this is the cheapest on just some bracelets most of them are like hundred dollars which uh, if you ask me it's a bit much and also they charge uh, depending on where you are a lot of money for the um, for the shipping and uh, they calculated some taxes and yeah I mean depending on where you are uh, you might be better off just buying from watch gecko and also they, they offer free shipping to um, to the states I believe so yeah but just wanted to show you because uh, uh, this uh, bracelet uh, I mean I, I haven't I didn't expect it to be as good I wrote some here and there on the on the internet that it's really good that it's really nice uh, but it's you can see that it articulates really well um, the looks are really fine brush here there's no sharp edges uh, sharp edges it's just great uh, so I believe this is it guys uh, for now uh, this is my Vostok on the Nick Menke elastic strap the hook strap really nice uh, oops the Vostok is a little smaller Actually, not that much. Huh. Uh, I hope you you like this video, uh, and uh, I hope the the sound and the in the video quality is okay because, um, as I mentioned, uh, I'm trying out the the new phone, and uh, not too impressed with uh, this phone's uh, audio quality. But uh, you're gonna see. Uh, probably gonna fix that with the. Oops, sorry for the shake. Uh, probably gonna fix that with the with the new mics that I'm waiting for. So yeah, uh, we're gonna check on that. So hope you like it. Hope if you're looking for a nice bracelet, check this one out. Uh, or the other ones because they're, those are cheaper. Uh, probably you should wait for a discount on this one a little bit because like 90 pounds is a bit steep. But anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the, the video and uh, I hope it was helpful to you. And anyway, goodbye.